Hi, this is Tony Henderson Mayers, and I want to thank you for tuning in to Moments of Inspiration, Encouragement, and Prayer. And I know you may be thinking, wait, you talk about romantic relationships. Yes, but I also talk about family, friendship, business relationships, relationships with yourself, God, and your money. And this series, Moments of Inspiration and Prayer, um, helps us to get a better relationship with God. And so I hope you enjoy this portion of my Tony Henderson Mayers page. And without further ado, here is moments of inspiration, encouragement, and prayer. Are you subscribed to the Wise Courtship Philosophy? Then you need to get your Wise Courtship gear at the Wise Courtship store. Go to bit.ly forward slash Wise Courtship store. All the letters are lowercase. They make amazing gifts from children, adults, men and women, jewelry, hats, cell phone cases, t-shirts, and more. Represent Wise Courtship by going to bit.ly forward slash Wise Courtship store. Well, hello there, each and every one of you. This is Tony Henderson Mayers, television, radio, relationship expert, author, and entrepreneur known as Wise Courtship all over social media because of my book with a three-step system that will help you determine the true character and the true intent of your love interest. I want to thank everyone for joining us on social media and all of the places. Good, good to see you. God loves Rio. That's Mario joining us from Periscope. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us via um, Facebook live periscope um twitch youtube all of those wonderful places listen guys um make sure however you're watching me especially youtube that you like subscribe and comment and um you know do all of that ring the bell so you know every time i upload a new video so thank you guys so much for tuning in this is a special presentation because we're celebrating Christmas and the topic today is going to be why is Christmas um, important and we're going to definitely look at the scriptures for that. Good to see you too as well. Blessings to you. So good to see you. So we're going to look at the scriptures and make sure guys that you go ahead and share this broadcast. If you're watching me live, you can share by touching right down there, okay? You can share by in, uh, inviting individual people into the broadcast, or you can um, start a watch party if you're on Facebook and if you're on uh, Periscope. You can tweet it out, share with all your followers, or you can uh, put it on Facebook. And I want to say to Periscope, we're going to miss you. I've been with Periscope seven years, and they're going to be closing down in March, and it would be eight years for them. So by the time they close down, it would be seven and a half years that I would be with Periscope, and we're going to miss you so very much. So now let's go ahead and read the scripture on today. And we're going to be reading from Luke 2, Luke 2, 1 through 20. I want to thank everyone who's watching via my website, which is www.wisecourtship.com. Thank you so much for watching. And you were listening to Tasha Cobbs Leonard um, singing, um, Oh, Come All Ye Faithful. All right, so um, I'm reading from Luke 2, 1 through 20 from the NIV version. In those days, Caesar Augusta issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quinaris was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee of Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, 
who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were uh, while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, <clears throat> praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that had ha has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherd said to them. But Mary treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had seen heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. And I read to you Luke 1, <clears throat> Luke, the second chapter 1 through 20. And of course, God's word is already blessed. And this is why we want to talk about why Christmas is so important. Christmas is not about just gifts and toys and getting all you want or giving all you want. It's not about the Christmas tree or any of those things. And some of you who are watching me, you know this. This is why I want you to share this broadcast. But there are many who may be hearing this for the first time or who need to be reminded that we are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. And, you know, some people say, well, he wasn't born on December 25th. Well, you have a lot of foster children and children who don't know their parents, who don't know their birthday. But it doesn't matter when the actual birthday is, but it does matter that we celebrate. We celebrate your birthday. We celebrate it once a year, if and unless you're in a religion that doesn't celebrate it. And so we celebrate the birth of Christ. But he is not an ordinary baby. He is the son of God. As a matter of fact, in order to be a Christian, you have to believe that Jesus Christ is God's son, that he died on the cross for your sin, that you do wrong. And you got to say that he is Lord of your life. You got to confess that he died on the cross for your sins. You got to confess the sins that you have in your life and that he's the Lord of your life. And so it's so important that about Christmas because we have to focus on what the real reason is all about. And it's a gift that any person has ever received. And it's the fact that God gave us his son. He sent his son to take all the blame, all the guilt and shame that we, we brought upon ourselves so that we will have a right uh, communion with God. We'd be able to go before God to talk to him because God is a holy God and we could not go before him the way that we are. And so Jesus was wonderful enough and God was wonderful enough to send his son to go before us and to take on the sins of the world. You may say I don't sin, but if you say you don't sin, the Bible says that you deceive yourself. We lie. We we think things that we shouldn't think. We we talk about people we shouldn't talk about. We say we go places we shouldn't go. We have thoughts and little white lies and all of those things. And some even murders and killings and all of that. Even when you think it in your heart, the Bible says, really, you have done it. And so Jesus Christ is so important because of what God has done for us and because the gift that God has given us and because of what Jesus Christ has done for us. And if you don't get any other material gift, the gift that you get for believing in Jesus Christ is eternal life. And that is an amazing gift. That's an awesome gift. Gift. It is a gift that even when you do wrong, even when you do some things that are not pleasing in God's sight, you can now ask God to forgive you. 
and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. And he won't remember it anymore. He will take you into his arms. He will take you under his wings. So there's nothing that you could have done uh, that was so uh, egregious that you cannot ask God to forgive you, that he will not love you. I know man is fickle. You know, there's sometimes sometimes they love you, sometimes they don't. If you're blessed, you may have one or two people really stick there with you. But, but God said, God, Jesus will stick closer to you than your own brother. God is always there for you. And so it's so important to know that Jesus Christ was born, that he stepped out of royalty from the kingdom of God down into humanity. He didn't have to do that. He made himself very low so that he could come and pick us up. And it's so important, too, because uh, God not only came and was born, he didn't stay as a baby. He had a life of ministry where he, you know, he ministered to those who were forgotten, ministered to those who may have been incarcerated, hungry, lame, blind, deaf, all of the forgotten people that sometimes we still forget on today. And Jesus did that ministry for them to reach out to them. He said, I didn't come to destroy the law, but I came to fulfill it. To bring some wisdom into some light to the laws of, of God. And so those of us who believe in Jesus Christ, we should emulate him. All of the love and all of the uh, unity that he brought in this earth. And so if you do not know Jesus Christ, make sure that you pray this prayer. Lord, I'm a sinner. I know I've done things wrong. But I believe that Jesus Christ is your son. And that he died on the cross for my sins. And I declare before man and I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. If you could pray that, you became a Christian. And so I welcome you into the faith. And I say to you, uh, Merry Christmas as we enjoy this holiday season. I'm going to pray for you, give you some words of encouragement, and then I'm going to send us out with a wonderful selection as we go out. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we bless you. We honor you. We lift you up, God, and we magnify you. We give you all honor, glory, and praise. We recognize you are the one true God, and beside you there is none other. Forgive us, God, for the things that we have done wrong, the things that we've said wrong. God, we just thank you so much for what you have done for us, sending your son Jesus to take on the sins of the world so that we can have a right standing with you, that we can come before you even now and know that you hear our prayer. God, we bless you and we thank you so much for Jesus, not just staying in a manger as a baby, but life of ministry his life of love, his life of caring. We thank you, God, so much because it is the greatest gift that we will ever, ever receive. God, we pray for those who may be hurting during this holiday season, those who need finances, those who may not have the material things that they need, God, that they feel like they need. God, we know that you said you would supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. We're still praying uh, for Judy's uh, son, Nathaniel. We're still praying for the Miles family, the Smith family. God, we're still praying for all those who are bereaved because of the coronavirus, losing loved ones, God. We are still praying for each and every person who is standing in the need of prayer. All of your men and women of God, all of your mothers and fathers, all of the world leaders, God, in the name of Jesus, protect us, protect us from self, protect us from sin, and protect us from Satan. And God, we know whatever your answer is to our prayer, we know it's going to be better than anything we've ever expected. So we lay every burden at your feet. And we thank you and we praise you in Jesus name. Amen. And so I want to encourage you guys during this holiday season. I know there's a lot of things going on, but I'm going to encourage you. Please do not get discouraged by what you see. Because listen, faith cometh um, by, but I didn't want to say faith cometh by hearing, but hearing comes with the word of God. But what I want to say is that faith is not always what you can see. Okay, faith is uh, uh, what you cannot see. You know, you have to believe God, whatever he says in his word, it will come to pass. So trust and believe God in all things. He is so good and he is so amazing 
And listen, I don't even think I put my title up there. So let me put the title up there for a while. <laughs> I told you the title was, but I didn't put it up there. Why is Christmas important? And so if you get caught up in the world's definition of what um, Christmas is and what happiness is and what you should be receiving, you may be very, very depressed. But if you start putting your trust, trust and faith in God and remember the real reason for the season, you will find so much joy in it. And listen, let's make somebody else's Christmas a joyous one. Let's make somebody else's Christmas happy. Let's see what we can do to make someone else smile during this holiday season. I want to um encourage you guys, and you'll see another commercial at the end of the broadcast, that if you want to wear your Wise Courtship gear, go to bit.ly forward slash Wise Courtship store. All of the letters are lowercase. That's bit.ly forward slash Wise Wise Court Store. We have all of the Wise Courtship gear, like cell phones and T-shirts and all those types of things. Cell phone covers, okay? T-shirts and all those wonderful things. Make sure you go there and see what we have to offer. Well, listen, I've got to go. The time has really, really flown by, but I pray that you have been blessed by this broadcast, and I pray that you will enjoy the time that you have with your family or your loved ones. And if by chance you are alone during this pandemic and you're sheltered in place, make sure you give a call or shout out to friends and loved ones, um, have a video call, a Zoom session, or what have you, because you are not alone in this world. Go ahead and connect with other people. And let's make sure we check in on one another and make sure that everyone is having a wonderful holiday season. Well, I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> the time goes by so quickly. But listen, I can be reached on the web, which is www.wisecourtship.com. I'm on social media just about everywhere as Wise Courtship or Tony Henderson Mayers. All you have to do is Google me. And in this day and age of alternative facts, things spinning way out of control, God is still on his throne. He's still um, still in control. And to we have to learn, watch, fight, and pray. And I pray that all of you have a very Merry Christmas. Take care. Well, hello there, each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell. Click it for me so that you will know anytime I upload a new video.